Hey guys, Satyajit Patnaik here and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we shall be talking about the top six laptops required for deep learning as in suggested for deep learning. And that's going to be my suggestion. So it has nothing to do with what's officially correct or not. This is my list, my recommendations of top six laptops for deep learning. In case you want to learn deep learning, of course, there are so many courses, but in case you are already already into deep learning, you have been training lots and lots of models. You are struggling to run models on your existing laptop. You want to upgrade, then you should watch out this video. Well, let me give you a small disclaimer that uh, the laptops that I have discussed in this video, I haven't thought budget in mind. So this is a, uh, there are some laptops in this list, which costs even more than one lakh. So in case, you have some other requirements. Let's say you have a budget of 60,000 or 70,000. Let me know in the comment section below. If in case this video is not useful to you, let me know in the comment section, sir, I want the best laptop within 70 K or best laptop within 60 K. Can you create a video on that? I will go through each and every comments based on the comments. I'll check the mode. If, uh, waiver is having the more number of comments based on that I will create my next video which will be specifically on budget so let's get started in this video we'll get to know about the top six laptops that I recommend and uh, yeah we'll see you in the video Top six laptops for deep learning in 2022. Now, this is a very common question which people ask me that, sir, I have a budget of 50,000, 60,000 or 80,000. Can you please suggest me a laptop where I can buy and, you know, learn data science, deep learning and run these models. Now to run machine learning models, you probably might not need a very high end configuration laptop, but in order to run deep learning, well, yes you need to buy a good laptop. However, if you have two budget constraints, there are some options like Google Colab where you can easily take the pro for a monthly subscription and something like that. And then you can practice your codes online. But if you are looking out for buying a laptop for deep learning or probably for gaming, uh, this video is for you. If this video, I'm only talking about the top six laptops irrespective of the price if in case these laptops are way above your budget probably let me know in the comment section tell me sir my budget is 50k or 60k or 70k based on your budget i will come up with a very similar video as soon as possible the more number of comments the sooner the video will come now jumping into the top six laptops as per me which should be considered for deep learning or gaming now, why I'm talking about gaming? Because gaming laptops, they come with graphics card. They come with huge RAM and huge processor, right? And that is one of the reasons why our FPS increases, the game quality increases. Similarly, deep learning also uses, you know, processors. They also use some graphics. Now we'll be talking about the list of the best five, six laptops as per me. Okay. Now, number six is Dell Alienware. Now Dell Alienware, you can see the key specifications on the screen, 15 inch laptop. Well, uh, 15 inch is really good. I, I think it's a decent size. Uh, less than that will be a little bit difficult for me at least. I usually prefer large displays, but 15 inch is good. Display is of course, basic 1920, 100, uh, 1080 pixels display. Uh, it's not a touch screen. Processor is i7 or AMD Ryzen depends on you. Hard disk is not provided. RAM is 8 GB, which is kind of okay. Uh, but you can always increase your RAM. I think it is expendable up to 64 GB, but uh, please check it before buying it. Uh, operating system is Windows and yeah, it comes with GTX 950M. Really good. Okay. After Dell Aniel Alienware, I'll talk about Lenovo Legion. Legion, Legion, I usually call Legion, I might be wrong in the pronunciation. Now this comes with a little bit larger display as compared to Dell Alienware. 
processor is similar core i7 hard disk is 1 terabytes ssd 256gb ram already 16 gb inbuilt you can also expand it and yeah gtx 1080 which is again a good graphics card asus tuf i am personally i i really like asus all my products are asus products even my laptop which is lying out here it's also asus so i have my personal experience with asus so by default i prefer people to go for asus but i also have read some negative reviews about asus so it's again uh, it depends on user to user for me i didn't had any bad experiences with acer asus tuf amazing uh, laptop 15.6 inches all the configurations are visible on the screen gtx 1050 is the graphics card acer predator again very similar kind of configurations again comes with gtx 1080 so acer predator acer i used to use acer initially i think 10 15 years back my first laptop which i owned was an acer laptop somehow i had bad experiences but the reviews of acer predator is really good so you can just choose it hp omen is going to be on number two again a very similar configuration ram 16 gb 15.6 inches nvidia gtx 1050 and very similar configurations and the number one goes to asus again as i told you asus always is on number one at least for me and even when i prepared this list i was not biased i took a lot of reviews i took you know i talked to many people so that's how i came up with this particular slide asus rog very good laptop for gaming many gamers also prefer it so if it is good for gaming that is also uh, it also indicates that it will be good for deep learning right very similar kind of processors now these are all the six different types of laptops asus rog hp omen acer predator now all this comes with a different price tag i know they are not very cheap at least all of them would be more than eighty thousand. that's what i feel i'm not pretty sure about the exact cost tag but in case it is above your budget as i have already told you i'm again repeating leave a comment if your budget is 50k 60k the more number of comments based on that i will create my next uh, presentation next video on the best laptops for data science under 50,000 or under 60,000 based on your demands. That's all about this particular video. If you like it, please like, share and subscribe the channel. And of course, lots and lots of videos are coming up on this channel. Stay tuned and keep supporting. Bye-bye.